All right, so the season two units are going to be coming out on the 19th um, at reset for everyone. I'm pretty sure it's at the same time this time. I'm not sure though. I wish I knew, but uh, it's weird, man. The server, th the server thing is weird. I don't want to talk about it more, man. It's just annoying, and I'm just going to complain. So, we've got the three units, Noel, Ghost, and Charmy coming alongside a free Summer Asta, which honestly, I just love the fact that we're getting a free SSR. I, to me, that's cool as hell. So, we're going to be talking if you should summon for them, summon on the skill page banner, so I guess I should pull all of that up. We're also going to be doing this in hindsight with the um, banners coming afterwards. We know who those banners are, right? So that's going to be very interesting. So Julius should be coming out right after, less than a week after, which is very interesting. So we're going to be taking that into mind. And this video is mainly going to be a bit of should you be summoning? At what point should you be summoning to? And then also, should you be duping? Okay, so we're going to start off with the unit kits. And then I'm going to go straight into the should you summon. I'm not going to talk about it until we're done the three kits. Then we're going to go to the scope pages after, okay? So let's get into this. Now, Noelle is the main headliner, if we consider this. She is the most hyped up unit within Black Clover Mobile, even more so than Julius. Julius is the more hype unit, but she is the more hyped up unit from the whole community. Right now, more people are definitely excited for Julius, but you know, because of her kit, she is quite something. So the reason why she's something is because she has a double AoE that are both very strong this AoE is going to be doing even extra damage if she already has a barrier or her special blessing barrier. Then the alt is going to be giving her magic attack buff for that alt and also for two turns after. And it becomes even more relevant, this buff, when you consider that it is also going to be the highest AoE scaling in the game by 18%. Now, 18% might not seem like much, but then you multiply it by the whole team and that's almost, what, almost an 80% extra amount of damage, which makes it quite crazy, right? So... Let's look at the skill 2, the main part that made her into what she is. It is basically an AoE shield, okay? So it's going to be an AoE shield on everyone for 140% of her magic attack. Now, she buffs her magic attack on the alt, which might you could do it that way, where you use the alt first and then the shield becomes big giga strong. But then even without it, you could buff it through other means and also just her base magic attack. She increases her passive increase in magic attack, all that stuff. It's going to be very high, right? She's a DPS, so you could just focus on magic and it's going to be crazy. Then she gives a second barrier. Barriers, every barrier stacks, which be makes it that like barriers... Of this nature are very strong okay so her blessing barrier blessing of water is going to be giving the person that has it first of all stronger barrier by 20 percent extra and also the fact that it's going to be giving a counter for the duration of the barrier so yeah there's that and then it also gives 10 percent increased favor damage which makes it so that green units don't really stand a chance against the well which is just very silly. I think that this was like, yeah, guys, let's release the Midnight Sun with Lick and Ryan. Then, by the way, right after, right after, let's make someone who's red, has an AoE that's very strong and also has extra increased favored damage. So that's very funny. The counter is probably just too strong, man. Like, especially with her uh, AoE skill one, it's very good. Okay, very good. Now, um, she's going to be giving magic attack on a unique passive. And uh, very important is that her speed is 106. If we go to the DPS speeds, right in character stats i highly recommend using this on pride win uh dps speed she's all the way over here which is very high considering that these five units sorry these all all these units besides fauna who comes out in like three months from now um are all there because of the fact that they have to be max duped noelle is the only one who doesn't need any dupes to get her 106 speed julius needs it magna needs it langris needs it charmy needs it asta needs it right noelle doesn't just zero dupes straight up 106 speed usually dps's are at 103 speed as you can see from the majority of all dps's right all of these guys are 103 speed right then you got this little bunch which you need to dupe them out so that's a very strong thing for the noelle right now her dupe um I personally don't think you should be duping her. Her max dupe is pretty good, but is it needed? No. What it gives... Okay, we'll start with the two dupes. Two dupes to me um, is not worth it. It just adds a barrier that won't really have value when Julius might be able to one-tap you either way, which is that extra ba uh, barrier. What it does, it's, it's just going to be giving you a start of turn barrier, okay? Uh, it does nothing special, right? It's just an extra barrier that's basically just extra HP. Are you really going to use two dupes or try to pull two extra du dupes just to like maybe survive a bit better i feel like if you really have fears of surviving um the best way to go about it is either run someone with damage reduction aka william 
at Ghost, or what you could do is speed up to get your barrier out quicker. Now, the five dupe, okay, the five dupe does have value. It is going to be the blessing barrier, which is the counter barrier, okay, and that counter barrier can be a start a turn. So, let's say a Voltos alts, Charlotte alts, Charlotte uses skill two, Sally alts, William alts, all attack ultimates that are AoEs that support at the beginning of the terms, the turns. That's going to be a counter from Noel. Now, the thing is with that, there are very good healers. And now we are having Charmy in the game who are going to be able to heal. And those counters from the well at the beginning are not going to kill, right? So there is that fact. They're not going to kill, but they can do damage. But is it enough to really be annoying, especially when Julius is still going to one shot? No, I don't think it is. And I don't think it's worth going for, especially because of Julius, okay? Between the two, especially looking at it free to play, if you could choose between, if you have to choose between the two, Julius is better. Julius Max Duped is more worth it. It's because Noel is already a 10 out of 10 unit. Julius goes from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 with that Max Dupe, okay? Max Dupe is very good, gives him the increased speed and a 100% HP revive. So, just saying. When you compare the two, Noel's stats, if you want, okay, if you are someone who sp spends a bit, I don't think it's bad. Like, if you want to chase it, go for it. I'm not saying it's bad, okay? It's just, it's not gonna be insane insane okay it's not gonna be some one of those dupes that you want to chase for i made a video on who you want to really dupe and i explained every single one in the next six seasons okay and this is not one that you really want to chase what's funny is that charmy might be one that oh charmy might be one that you want to chase so let's do this very smooth transition or just transition over to charmy and talk about her. So she has three, a triple continuous HP recovery, two being AoE. Now, continuous HP recoveries means for two turns, she's going to be healing them. And it's going to basically be very strong. This also does not count as just a heal block. So like, let's say Blue Yami's heal block does not work for continuous HP heals. And what's even better about her is that she gives a level three increased defense, which increased defense already at level two from like Rodas is super strong, but level three is crazy. And she can increase the uh, special points by one on the ultimate, one of the best ultimates in the game. Then her skill two also applies uh, continuous HP, skill one, two, and it could increase special points. It's just really strong. Her heals are amazing and she is very worth it to use, especially for a more defensive type of team. The increased defense is just wild as fuck, bro. Now, um, she's at 104 speed. Healers are pretty set up. Now, I don't know why they decided Season 1 Mimosa was going to be so low, but she's 104, which makes her higher than most DPSs in the game, which is going to be good. And she's going to be able to heal anything that the counters do, which is why I don't think that the Noel dupes are that crazy. For later game, sure, if you want to put it into it, I think that investing some dupe stones into her would not be bad. But for this point in the game, I don't... I don't I don't see the point. I mean, I played on the Canada and especially on Canada because of Charmy. It just was a different meta, man. It was a different meta compared to JP. So if you play JP, maybe it was worth it then. I mean, she had rain for a month and a half. So obviously you could like, first of all, afford to max duper. And second of all, see her in her prime without anyone like Charmy increasing defense by fucking 175%, right? Now, what makes Charmy probably more worth it than Noel to max dupe is that she, at the end of every ally turn, every ally turn, is going to be healing 3 up to 10% of her HP to the ally with the lowest HP. For me on JP, that's about 15k per turn. Per ally turn. Everyone on your team, every time the turn ends, the person with the lowest HP gets a heal. I, I just find this so stupid compared to Noel. This got, this this is such a stupid like dupe. I don't know. I released a video just yesterday in the Charlotte in the like season where I'm talking about the season four units. Uh, I show Charmy with uh, the Clover Academy Charlotte and it's kind of insane that 10% heal every time. You're, it's really hard to kill a team with this Charmy at max dupe. So if you're really going for one of the two, I'd say that like Charmy long term especially, bro. It's stupid, man. It's stupid. You could check out that showcase. I honestly recommend it. So it's part of the second part of it. Um, so you can find that. If not, I'll link it below. I might link it below just to make sure you guys see that. But I'm going to be doing uh, probably a Max Dupe showcase of Charmy and all that in the future. So you could also see that too. So yeah, Charmy is very good heal-wise. It's just when you have a Charmy on your team and if you have some defensive options, you're chilling. You're, you're absolutely chilling. Now next up, we've got Ghosh. Ghosh is going to be mainly a, um, what's it called? A single target buffer for raids. Very good to use in raids, right? Um, so he's going to be increasing uh, damage here with the weapon enhancement. Um, he's going to be increasing all attack, giving pen. Um, pen chance goes up to 100% at max dupe and then gives an intense sunlight buff which basically this is going to be I would recommend getting this to max dupe max level sorry max level um, 
is going to be giving a 10% damage increase for each stack, and it could be stacked up to three times. So this is an extra 30% damage increase if you stack it all the to all the way now then the alt is using 10 percent of his hp which i don't think is the biggest deal you could heal that up very easily um to give 30 percent damage reduction up to 40 percent which is insane an amazing amount damage reduction with increased accuracy which is going to be uh lowering the chance that your skills are blocked and also giving dot immunity okay and then his uh, unique passive, which is his uh, LR passive, is going to be giving him a heal um, when his buff ends once per wave, right? So there is that, right? Um, that's going to heal him up. Technically, it's going to heal up the alt, right? So, I mean, there's really no problem. And it gives 15%, so it's 5% more. Now, uh, why is good is, especially if you have him at least two duped, where it could apply two stacks of the increased damage at once. And it's going to be giving 20% increased damage, the all attack and pen. Three very good things in one, and very good for Noel, especially for now, in terms of using the alt, doing big boy nuking damage, getting the increased damage plus all attack, and all attack does stack with, or I don't know if it multiplicatively buffs, but I'm pretty sure it does with the magic attack, which Noel gives herself on the ultimate, so it's going to be very good, um, and just in general for nuking, he's going to be good for raids, so he's not a bad option, and uh, definitely works very well with Raya, but there is the thought that has to be considered, that in the future, there's going to be an SR all attack supporter that is probably better than ghost uh, for supporting so you know there's that um now he does go up to 116 speed on max duke but i'm pretty sure he's at like 112 before so this guy is pretty quick overall and i do like him and the one thing that i didn't really mention that he does get value with is the fact that um he does have dlt blocks on his alt and then with the skill page and why this is good is, is especially when burn comes into meta this ghost i'm not gonna lie i really like the burn team and you've probably heard me talk about it but i really find it fun um i find it enjoyable i have uh the whole burn team maxed duped and one of my future plans is to get the season four clover academy fuego scope page max dupe because that would be when there's three burns a 75 percent damage increase if i have the fuego scope page max duped um, the clover academy season four skill page so yeah um now he does give the dot immunities which does become pretty good in the future and honestly he becomes a very good unit long term so uh there is that to consider and if you want to get him or not but especially if you don't have sally he might not be a bad option so let's do a quick should you summon and then go into the scope page banner and just like talk about the scope pages in general um but i would say that my opinion is going to very much depend on how many pulls you have because julius's banner is way, way more worth because of the fact that you get a free key every single season you get a free key you can only use one key so let's say you buy the paid key from the shop well it doesn't matter you can only use one of the two but every season you get one you can get a free seasonal every single season guaranteed okay until they change it so I would say you could pick Noel, right? You could easily pick Noel. Now, if you already have SR Charmy built as a free-to-play with not many resources, I don't know if it's completely worth it, right? She's going to be good for PvP, but there's so many different options that are going to come out in the future. And if you're not going to fully invest into the blue team, then it's not worth it, okay? It's not 100% worth it. Now, these units are very good, but if you have someone like Sally, Ghost might not be worth it, right? If you're going to... Uh, consider in the future that we're also going to get gift so you might not want to get ghost right because gift so does pretty much the same team thing even if not better okay now charmy is that kind of like wild card that in pvp she does work pretty well but with the addition of julius we're gonna have to see so my recommendation at the moment if you've got already over 200 pulls just do like 50 pulls 100 pulls max right see what you get from what you get choose the gateway key noel being top priority charmy being second ghost being last unless you want someone for raids and you need supporters that and maybe go for ghost second right he is going to be very good uh he doesn't really get bad charmy doesn't get bad noel doesn't get bad they're all still very good units right um now for someone who spends i, I mean obviously you could summon a bit i think it's not a bad banner but the problem is the scope pages kind of suck they kind of suck the scope pages so there is that but because of julius coming out like less than a week after on the 25th 24th 25th about um it's not worth it going in too deep my recommendation is if you really do want to summon maybe wait just wait see what julius uh offers you in terms of luck if you get lucky then maybe don't go in and if you want to get these units then go back into this banner afterwards but 50 pulls isn't going to hurt anyone but just make sure that you get the guaranteed at least for julius or just wait for this banner pour what you 
uh, D2 to get Julius at a skill page and then come back to this banner, right? Um, I would say that's probably the best play to go because this banner is still going to be out when uh, Julius comes out. So, yes, that is my personal opinion. This banner-wise for units is probably one of the best banner uh, values we're going to have. Getting one of the best healers who's very good for PvP. Not much... Um, use in pve besides the fact that she will be good she will be a better option than the sr charmy for keeping your teams alive if you're still at that point now for anything in the game i wouldn't really say she's got much value for any like bosses or stuff so like scratch that off but this guy for pve is gonna stay good just for nuking but pvp wise eh he kind of dips but you could use him for sure i think he's fun to use on a kind of like nuking team in pvp with uh, charlotte now the wall we all know so like i just think the wall should be your top one priority if you could get it from the key then just that's all you really need now the skill pages skill page banner um, i'm just gonna say right away don't really summon on it i don't really like the skill pages now if you have to choose one between the three for like battle pass my recommendation would be Charmies. Okay, that's the thing I'm going to say. Because it gives her crit damage resistance. That's pretty good, right? I think it's 35%. Um, and that's all you really need now. The damage reduction isn't that crazy, but it's like, okay, because of how much she's going to be healing. Right, so like 10% damage reduction, not going to lie, is not bad. Because she's going to get the continuous heals. And it will come into play quite a lot. But for me, it's really the crit damage res on a team like this. And usually, you're running Charmy on a full blue team. Especially more so in the future when Season 4 Charlotte come out. When Season 5 Noel comes out. Out, halloween noel right when julius comes out right after right you're gonna start running the blue team and it's gonna be very good with charmy especially when someone like noel is in play she's not gonna really be able to get the crits and because obviously reduced crit rate and when she does well charmy's crit damage res is gonna kick in so to me this is the best one out of the three but noel's I feel like it's very controversial. To me, it's not really worth it. I would rather run something that gives me all attack, such as Gork Rare, the um, two SSRs, Faunas and the Breath of Darkness, right? Those two, or I mean, those are like the main three I would run, or Julius' scope page that also gives all attack, but I wouldn't run this, right? I would run something that increases both her shield and her damage, which is magic attack, so anything with magic attack, right? Now, her passive itself is not that good, where it's going to have a chance to give a barrier when you're attacked equal to a certain amount of damage, and why it's bad is because if it's a high amount, technically you'd be dead from that barrier, right? And, and you'd be dead from the hit, and it wouldn't like be valuable because you're dead, right? So if you're dead, then that barrier ain't gonna be worth something. Right, unless you already have a barrier that is going to add another barrier, which is the only case I could see how maybe like, let's say, for example, uh, for example, you've got 200k barrier on you. Julius does 150k and wow, <laughs> you have a chance to get a what 15k barrier chance, 7k barrier chance. OK, so I don't I don't think a 7k barrier is worth it with a chance. Right now, what it adds is that if you already have a barrier on you, when you use the barrier skill, it has a chance to uh, heal them by 50% of your magic attack. Now, I don't I don't think it's that good. Uh, your magic attack is going to revolve from 30 to 40k on a pretty well-built Noel. Now, 50% of that is about 15 to 20k heal. First of all, you already got to have a barrier, so she really only works with a Rodas team. Or if you get to use this skill again um, before the barrier runs out on other people, okay? Now, the heal itself, I I'd say just run Charmy if you really need those heals. And I feel like it's better. To, instead of needing this heal, maybe just give her magic attack to increase her damage and also increase the barrier, right? Because increasing magic attack by 10% is going to be increasing the barrier in general by what? Um, 140 could be giving like a 5 to 7k barrier extra, which getting that on everyone is probably much better than the heal itself, right? And also you're doing more damage. So to me, much more worth it to get the extra magic attack. That could be up to 20% extra from the Breath of Darkness. Now, as for Ghost's skill page, right? Um not really that good what it adds it adds is on the skill one if you land the crit in the spells dots you're not really gonna build it, be building a crit so this isn't really that worth it even if you're against the burn team and on the top uh it does have a chance to grant a dot immunity only to you though and if that doesn't work it grants poison immunity you're probably just better better uh running the sally skill page sally funeral Baltos, whichever one right i don't think this is really that good right you have so much better things you could run than this kind of shit so yeah skill page banner only one i would go for is maybe charmies but even at that you might want to go for healing by giving her hp instead of this so yeah the walls i already explained it then yeah that's basically it so you guys let me know what your summoning plan is going to be for this banner but as for me this is uh how i'd say a free-to-play should go about it if you spend just do whatever the fuck you want as long as you could get julius